gentlemen, welcome aboard this live launch with Hunky Dory TV. The crafting captain has turned on the fasten seatbelt sign and we are now cleared for takeoff. In preparation for launch, please ensure all of your troubles and worries are properly stowed. You won't be needing those today. Our flight time will be a craft filled 60 minutes or more and the Hunky Dory crew are now ready for departure. At this time we ask you to sit back, relax and enjoy our video presentation. Live launch takeoff in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have live launch liftoff. Hi everyone, good morning. I was released from the demonstration station. Yay! Yay! Um, and I'm on this side today, which is fun. It's so fun. So welcome aboard um, to our air hunky dory. I am Natalie and I will be your crafty host for today. Um, with me in the crafting cockpit today is straight from TV, the wonderful Sheila Halliwell. Hello. I'm very excited to have Sheila back. Thank I've you. missed you when you're not here. It's yeah. so sad now because there's literally like there's, it's an there's empty no office, one in the it? office. So if one of us is at TV, we're all by ourselves, our little lonesome. That's on right. On our own little, little yeah. desk area. Because you're you're gone Friday, aren't you? And I was thinking, oh, it'll just be just be me on Friday. And though a lot of the time we sit in silence because we're busy doing things. Just the fact that someone is there in a department. A presence. We've just, at the moment, we normally have like six, five or six people on a bank of desks. And at the moment, it just seems to be one person on each bank. And everyone's so far it away. It's, ghost it's quiet. When we turn the radio off of Facebook and then we go back out, <laughs> it's like either going into the library or church because it's so quiet <laughs> till the radio comes back on. It's almost like we need to get the radio back on so it's company for us because, um, yeah, yeah, it's really quiet very out there in the office. Times. But it's, uh, at least we can come in here and. Have, have some fun in I here. I know, it's very great fun being in here. Okay, so today we have our fantastic decollage collection to go through. Um, so we need your full attention while we go through our in-flight entertainment. Um, we've got a few announcements before we depart. Hopefully everyone has their seatbelts on. You've all got drinks. Because um, like I said, there's only two of us. We don't have time to go around with the trolley. Um, so before we start, pick of the week. Have you got yours yet? The fantastic artist garden collection um it was 19.99 now 11.99 and it features some beautiful sketchy artwork in some wonderful um sort of bright but not too bright colors it is really really beautiful um there's quite a lot of toppers in here there are. Is there eight? I think there are actually, eight yeah. Toppers. Eight different toppers. That yeah. is fantastic. And then obviously you have the printed and the plain cardstock to run alongside that. So loads and loads of crafting you're going to be able to do with this. Um, so this is your pick of the week. It's eleven ninety nine. If you get it this week, after that, it's going to go back up to nineteen ninety nine. So don't miss out on that great price. Um, we have, we are celebrating this um, week are 80,000 Facebook likes, which is really, really something quite special. We're all yeah. quite shocked, actually, that it's that that many people yeah. like our Facebook page. I remember when we got to 40,000, actually, and um, we at, at that time we could have a cake and we could have, like, uh, I was going to say fireworks then. No, not fireworks. Like, um, party poppers and stuff, and everybody used to come in from the departments and we used to yes. have a big... But we can't do that now, obviously, mainly no. because of COVID, so we can't have more than three people in here. And also... There's no one in the office to go in and, no, and do no the process anyway. There's so, no one about. Uh, but yeah, I remember when we got 40,000 likes. That was shortly after I, I joined Hunky Dory. It's like, oh my goodness, 40,000 people like, you know, know, Hunky Dory, like the page and everything. And now we're at double that. And it's quite amazing how many people. That's a lot of people, isn't it? It is a lot of people. And Dan has done something extra special for you all. So to celebrate our 80,000 Facebook likes, Dan has picked 80 products that you can get up to 80% off on. There are some crazy products. We've shown you through some of them over the last couple of days. Um, but don't miss out because loads have sold already. So out of, eight, out of the 80 products that Dan has picked, there are 29 products now out of stock, gone, never coming back, never to be seen again. Um, 80, 80 was crazy. That's like, crazy. I thought it would last, last all week, but... Like Dan said, there are some that are very, very limited on numbers. So 
29 have gone, never coming Gosh. back. So if there's something that you want on there, go get it because it might not be around very soon. We've got a little slideshow of some products actually to show you. So let's have a look. <laughs> We've got that um, little book of dad jokes, which is full of great puns. Um, Dan's got it in his office, he's reading through it now because his jokes were terrible yesterday. Um, but <laughs> 3.99 and you could be doing exactly the same. Um, catching up on your jokes. We've got the poppies. Teddy loves adorable, scorable. 4.99 for that. Oh my. 4.99. Wow. We have the topper decks of Midnight oh. Garden, which is on that beautiful <gasps> Miri. One ninety nine, Sheila. Oh £1.99. £1. We've got that beautiful Trim Me insert pads. I love these. I use them all the time when I'm crafting at home. Yeah. These are our Thinking of You Trim Me pads and they're four ninety nine. Wow. We've got some acetate. Now this is beautiful because it's gold on one side and silver on the other side. So for two ninety two forty nine, you're gonna get eight eight sheets of this. A four two hundred 20 microns which is great for sort of building with as well not just for yeah. your card making um that's great and then this sheila was special moments toppers one pound one pound one pound toppers oh my there's word. some great themes in here you've got sort of good luck thank you get well soon happy birthday i can guarantee you that some of these will have already be part of that 29 that have already sold out yeah. because toppers for a pound Gosh, Perfect. yeah, because you don't just get toppers, do you, in there? You get your topper sheet, you get your printed sheet, and I you know. get your foil sheet as it's well. Crazy. So great for beginners, great for um, if you do classes, which oh I know gosh, classes yes. are not um, going on at the moment, but... You, you know, know virtual are, classes. Virtual classes, but those are great stocking fillers as well for um, any of your family or, um, you know, that you can put away. Great, you know, £10 will get you 10 of those. That'll get you 30 sheets, won't it? Yeah. Because you're going to get a 10 toppers, 10 printed, 10 foils. Um, but you're going to be able to make oh, more than amazing. that. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, oh, definitely get those in your trolley. Such a good yeah. deal, such a good deal. Um, so next up, before we get into today's show, we have our Win It Weekly competition, Yay. which is your chance to win some fantastic um, products. This week's question is related to this fantastic 80,000 likes. So um, we have reached a milestone with 80,000 Facebook likes, but what milestone did we reach on Facebook in 2008? Was it A? 2018. 2018, did I say 2008? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't more. read this, Emily, <laughs> honestly, I'm like, oh, <laughs> this writing is so tiny. Um, so what milestone did we reach in 2018? 2018. Was it A, 20,000? Was it B, 40,000? Or C, 60,000? We thought, Sheila, yes. that this would be a question that no one could cheat on. However, on Monday we had people scrolling through their emails. Really? Yeah. Oh my word. To see when they got their email about. Oh the my goodness, things. I don't believe it. I know, oh my goodness. I know, but <laughs> however you answer the question, um, we are giving away eight prizes this week. On Friday's show, eight prizes will be won. Um, and this prize is absolutely amazing. We don't have it, no, we do we? We've had to take it out. However, um, it's great. So it's £80 worth of kit. You get the sunflower, the whole Forever Floral Sunflower range. It's really? quite cool. Um, you've got some inks in there. You've got, um, i trying to think back. You've got some glitter cards. You've got some shimmer oh. roll. Yeah, you've got the inverted corner punch, um, acetate, shimmer card. shimmer card, card blanks. Construction glue. There's <gasps> so, honestly, there's so oh much you're going to get in there. So eight people are going to win this as well. So get commenting. Comment as many times as you like. Um, you, all you have to do is like, share, comment. You can apply on our website um, to be part of this giveaway. So eight people are going to win this. Wow. Eight people are going to win £80 worth of stuff. That's amazing, isn't it? Dan is crazy. It, he has been quite crazy I know, to us. He's, just he's like, practically giving everything away that we have really in the building, is. honestly. So this is the time to tune into these Facebook um, shows and uh, and see what um, maybe he's losing his mind. Maybe really he's is. going. I'm going to give it all away. Give so all yeah, away. just keep tuning in. Okay, so um, let's run through a little bit of VT to have a look at what is coming up on today's show.
love that. There's some beautiful cards in there. And I think decollage is something that is really, really pretty. It's quite a quite an old sort of card making style, isn't it? De yes. Doing decollage. Yeah. But when it's done in that way with the beautiful colours, the beautiful foiling that you see, it's absolutely stunning. It is amazing. It's really pretty. There's some there's a quite a nice range of different flowers in there as well, different sort of occasions of flowers. Um, it's absolutely lovely. So you can get the whole collection today um, of our Flourishing Florals Designer Decollage Collection um, for £39.97. So you're going to save £10. You're going to get everything that you see here on this pack shop. So you can see there you've got 12 different decollages. Um, but you're actually going to get two of each, so that's going to make up 24. Um, then you've got a little book in there, which is fantastic. Um, and you get inserts. I know. So you have everything you need there to make your cards for any occasion. Any occasion for the next year. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. And if you um, make your cards to sell, decollage is always a winner because people absolutely love it. So let's have a look through um, the collection in more detail and then we'll go over to Sheila because I know she's got some fantastic demos planned because she did some amazing stuff on telly yesterday. Oh, Thank nearly you. fell. So we have, first of all, some wonderful inspiration for you all because um, I know sometimes you can get the kit home and go, oh, this is a bit, this is a bit crazy. I'm a bit overwhelmed with everything that's in here. So this is a lovely way that you can um, take this home and have a look at some fantastic samples. Um, that I think, Sheila, you made all of these. You know you? I was just looking at those. I was thinking, they look I familiar. Made, I made all those. I haven't seen that inspiration sheet. Um, yeah, they're all my cards. So was... there is um, a beautiful array of Sheila's makes Thank you. on here. Um, and then just at the bottom, some little things that you can add to your basket that have been designed to work perfectly with these um, this decollage collection. So let's have a look at the first one. The first one's very, very pretty. Um, you have these beautiful white flowers, kind of like on a trellis, um, which is lovely. And you've got some sentiments on here. You've got some borders on here as well. Um, so there's lots of different things for lots of different occasions on here. So you've got that top sheet where you've got two bases on there. Then you get your element sheet. So the element sheet here is really great because it's quite big. It's all foiled and die cut. So all you have to do is pop these elements out and then layer them up. And um, the great thing about decollage is that it is foiled, it is die cut, so yeah. you don't have to sit there cutting for hours, which is um, our least favorite thing to do. Um, <laughs> and you can just stick it with some foam pads, get going, um, and you've got a card straight away. Um, they're re I think decollage cards are really quick cards to make, actually. Um, I mean, yeah. it takes a little while to stick with your foam pads, but once you've got through that, it's fine. So you've got some beautiful cardstock that goes with that one. So that's the first of the 12. Um, the second, you've got this, I love this, perfect for Valentine's Day, weddings, anniversaries, um, and it just looks fantastic, whether you layer it up directly onto the space or onto the cardstock, because the cardstock is sized perfectly um, on, I think, all of the sheets, so that you can just put your um, decollage straight onto your cardstock if you wanted to, but I love how um, vibrant this is and all the love hearts and the beautiful roses. Um, you can see here, you've got all the different elements. Um, you also, if you didn't want to layer them all up, you could um, layer them on steppers. Yeah. Because the bo the bouquets in here are so beautiful that um, they sort of are standalone sort of images that you've got there. And then again, you've got the foiled cardstock that goes alongside that. Um, but like I said, this image on this side, it is the same size as the elements that you get on that first sheet. So you can lay them straight onto this. Um, card and it works like that for quite a lot of mm. these actually which I think is wonderful because then you can use these um, base layers as just toppers and you can get even more out of your kit so this is I think this is the third this third one so this is precious memories which has that beautiful bouquet it's very um, pale in color very um, sort of muted tones here um, great for sort of um, sympathy cards in your thoughts um, cards like that, but it is, it would also 
fit quite nicely for weddings yeah. as well, you know. I think we said that yesterday about it, myself it's and really, Charlie. It's really, really lovely. And um, you get, well, like you say, sympathy. You could put glitter on there and put it on someone's card for Christmas, yes. couldn't you? Make yeah. it sparkly. Um, you know, you, if you've got glossy accents and stuff, you can put it on any of these flowers to make them look like they've got dew drops on. Mm -hmm. And so lots of uh, lovely ways to use them. And then this is the cardstock you get that runs alongside that one. And then I think that this one is, um, it's definitely Anne's favourite. Um, yeah. She loves this. I love the sort of, um, we were saying it's very Ola Keeley. Yes, yes. Um, in design. Definitely. Um, very 70s. It's retro radiance. Um, it's wonderful. You've got those browns, those really vibrant oranges and reds in there. Um, this one is really, really lovely. Um, when it's layered up, it looks absolutely fantastic. And again, it fits perfectly onto the image on your cardstock. So if you want to cut that down, make a nice DL out of that um, and just stick your flowers straight onto that, you can do that. Then we have, um, this one's beautiful. Cool. We have the beautiful sort of um, bouquet on the flowers. This reminds me actually of the flowers you sometimes see um, for different occasions in church. Yes. Um, when the florist has got all fancy and put the flowers into different sort of um, settings. So this one is perfect for any sort of religious um, occasions you might have. Easter, um, um, thinking of you cards, christenings, baptisms, um, confirmations. Yeah. It's a really, really beautiful. I just love um, how it looks when it's um, laid up and especially if you um, sort of fold and use your embossing tools yes. on the elements, you get like that really beautiful um, effect on there. So there's absolute, I just love it. I think the colours in this one are beautiful. And then you've got that wonderful um, cardstock again with that image across there. So you can just get layering up on there. And it has, I don't think you can see this. If I pull it closer, you might be able to, but it has a beautiful um, pattern within that blue. It's, it's really, really pretty. Um, but I think you might have to um, look at that when you're at home. Then we have this one, which is stunning. It's very vintage, this, I feel. Yeah. Very classic with the really lovely gold foiling. Um, this one is Warmest Wishes. So it has the beautiful, oh, it's just stunning, the colours in this. Definitely. We spoke about this yesterday. I think this was Charlie's favourite yesterday on Crate and Craft. And every time we went back to it, he, he just said, oh, my goodness. I think it's because of the accent foiling as well yeah. on there. Um, it's very regal. It's very ornate. And we said it, it's almost like when you go into a special uh, palace or a grand yes. hall in a castle yes. or something. It's got that lovely ornate and very uh, gilded effect on it. It's, it's just very, um, yeah, it just stands out it's so much. so stunning. So then you've got your layer sheets for that one and the cardstock, which is also beautiful and has that really sort of lovely rustic textured background in there as well. And then moving on, we have this one, which is a bit more funky, it's a bit more contemporary. Um, this one is Brightest Bloom. So it's in the beautiful silver foiling in that arched window. So if you want to get um, putting these in your dimensional card domes, you can do. Um, if you want to use our nesting dies to cut some lovely apertures you can do that as well um this one's fun it's perfect for mother's day i think this one yeah it is definitely. perfect for mother's day or birthdays that you have coming up you've got the little presents in there as well then you lay your sheets which are wonderful i think the best thing about these decollage layers is that there's so much room on there there are they're just the design team just fill it with elements mm. so there's not a not a space um, where you could spare an extra sentiment or anything because it's just filled up nicely. This one's beautiful. I think this one is also one of my favourites. I love the shape um, of the flowers here. Yeah. Um, it's really, really nice um, colourways. That beautiful sort of teal colour with the pinks and the purples. Um, you can see it especially well on just this element sheet, actually, how it sort of curves um, across it's absolutely lovely and it looks fantastic on the cardstock. So yeah, just layering beautiful. this onto the cardstock, it yeah. looks like like a kind of half wreath effect. It does, yeah. I mean, I reckon you could probably um, use the two larger 
elements from the layering up sheets and, and put those together and possibly create like a wreath, couldn't you? you definitely could. Um, it's really pretty. It reminds me of wedding as well. We said this yesterday yes. too. That it reminds me of um, the, what, like what the bride's mum would have on her handbag, you know, and they yeah, have like a, like a little like a, Yes, of, of flowers um, on their, their bag rather than on their um, outfit. It just reminds me of that. It's really pretty. It's very, very pretty. Um, this one again, beautiful colourways. This one's quite nice because you've got that sort of really nice rustic bouquet feel. This could be really nice for sort of like to send on a bride in the morning of a wedding. Yes. Um, with that yeah. bouquet, just saying, you know, you, you've got this. Yeah, you're getting you married today. <laughs> um, but beautiful um, blooms again in this collection with the stunning elements. This one works really nicely with the cardstock because the way that the, um, the image is placed on here is nice and in this corner so you can layer that up onto there you can add the topper if you wanted to you can just use the the sheet and have your toppers for extra your bases as toppers they're so i like how versatile our decollages are because it's not they're not designed so you just have to um layer the the elements onto the bases and then put them onto the cardstock and the design team really think about how you can get the most out of the kits yeah. Um, and being able to layer it up straight onto the cardstock is a fun, is a really, really good thing. Um, it's great for saving, saving bits of your cardstocks. So this one's very yeah. nice with the um, tulips. Yeah, I love tulips. I know, very, they, very lovely. They are lovely. And when they, if you if you keep them for quite some time till they actually open out, they're yeah. like they're huge, aren't they? They're the massive. heads are huge. They're almost like big poppies. They are. Are they open up? They're beautiful. But never put them in a vase with daffodils because daffodils kill tulips. Oh, here we go. She yeah. looked some some florist. Something, else, something I learned as I went along in life. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. Yeah. <laughs> Don't put your tulips with your daffodils. Exactly. And then this one, we're coming to the end now. This one's very pretty. You've got it the is. beautiful, um, I'm not sure what these flowers are. Um, Purple petals. They kind of look like peonies. They do look a bit like, um, they also look a bit like uh, pansies as well yeah. and petunias. The way um, they sort of like bloom out. Yeah. But it's really, really lovely. I love how you've got the corner bits here as well if you want to get quite fancy. Yeah. Um, again, all your element sheets come included. You've got two of each um, to go alongside the two bases. So you can make, if you're just going to lay them onto the bases, you've got um, enough to make 24 cards in total. Um, and to get it, it's it's just I think decollage is just something really special. Definitely, it's very special. Oh, and it's um, it's great as well, no matter what stage you're at and you're crafting. No, nope. because you can't do anything wrong. I feel like you can't do no. it wrong, and I feel like anyone of any age can do it. Yeah, it's very true. Um, it's almost like doing a little jigsaw puzzle. Um, you know, where you build build it up, and then you see the picture come to life. Um, I think it's really. It's really easy to do and it always looks stunning no matter what you do with it, whether you put it in a frame, whether you put it on a card, whether you're giving it to someone, whether you're selling it, uh, putting it on top of a box. It's, it has a lot of impact because it's big and you've got those six or seven layers. It really stands out and that's why people uh, really love it and enjoy using it, I think, as well. Yeah, I think it's um, it's just it's just a great thing to, to get you crafting or yeah. something to have in the stash that is going to be really quick to make cards with um but i think a lot of people are loving it um they're saying they're saying that those those blue flowers might be enemas oh yeah because they're they're the same type aren't they i'm rubbish yeah. with flowers absolutely rubbish but if you want to get the decollage on its own it's 29.99 however the best price is always in the bundle you can get that bundle for 39.97 and we're going to go over to sheila now because she has a little demonstration ready for you um, on how to use this beautiful kit. Okay, so as you mentioned, uh, Natalie, they're about putting the decollage in your dimensional card fronts. They work perfectly, and because we've got the dies to match, um, you can do that. Now, my initial ideas, you'll see, as you're looking on the screen now, you'll see I have two sets here, two demo kits. I was going to do this one. We decided, myself and Emily, and I had this chat before the show, we're like, should we do this one? Because I'll put it in the dimensional card front. However, I have stupidly left my uh, dies. <gasps> Out on, I don't, know if get them? I don't know if they're on my desk or in my trolley 
Um, is it just the dome? Is it just the? It's just the arched it's ones. Not, is it not on here? It? I did have a quick look, but I couldn't see it on here. And I thought, oh, that'd be a really nice one to do because it shows how to do it with your dimensional card front. So I did have a backup just in case. I but you um, have a look if it's in my trolley, Natalie, or um, on my desk or in that pink bag. Natalie will go and have a look. So what we'll do, we'll get it out of the bag anyway, and hopefully we'll be able to show you how to do this one. Um, if not, we'll go to this one because I have three favourites. I mean, when they say, what's your favourite? I guess um, it means one, one uh, favourite. That's what the word favourite is. Here's my favourite. That one is special in particular. But I have three favourites. I don't think that's allowed. Um, I've got the, the lovely blue one, which is very contemporary. And then we've got the retro one. And the other one was the one we just spoke about, which was that lovely teal green with the almost like half a wreath a bit like a corsage, um, that is a really, uh, another one of my favourites as well. So, while we are just waiting, I'm going to open this bag. And, you know, if you're doing classes and things, or you don't feel like you want to make a card, get all your decoupage pieces out and put them, um, you know, pull them out and put your pads on the back so that that way then... Um, you can put them in a bag and then you can come back to them and do them as you like. Oh, thank you, Natalie. Natalie has saved the day by grabbing us the arch nesting die set. And so now we can do the original plan, which was, um, which is amazing. So as well, <laughs> with the dimensional card fronts, if you take all your pieces out and put pads on the back, then you can just sit it in your card front until you're ready to use it. So it's quite good if you're putting that in a bag as well because yeah, it doesn't good. fall out all over the place. So what I've done is I have taken um, an A5 card blank. Now what you can do with this is um, you can actually do it two ways. You can, uh, in fact, probably three ways because we sell the card blanks here with the dimensional card fronts. So you can get them with the aperture already cut out and then you can use it just with the aperture or with the dimensional card front. If, however, you've got our nesting dies, and we're going to use the biggest one because the biggest one of the frames actually sits um, and makes the whole perfect size for you to put your um, front in. Now what you can do, you can either do it straight onto your card blank and cut through or you can do like I'm going to do, you can cut a piece of the printed cardstock, same size as your A5 card and then you can put this onto here. So what you're doing then, you don't have to try and cut through your adorable scoreboard and your ink me and you end up with a really nice tidy section so your card is not cut. If that makes sense, I know I'm waffling, but if that makes sense then um, that's the one of the best ways to do it. So we're going to grab a little bit of our low tack tape and we're going to pop this on to um, the cardstock and then we'll pass it through the machine. While that's going through the machine, we can actually be building up some of the decollage. And I just love this background. I love the, the fact that it looks like we've got, um, it's like fabric. It looks really, really nice. So another little tip here, if you were doing this but you were using, um, using it on your Ink Me cardstock, the low tack tape is, is quite low in tack, which is why it's got that name. However, if I am going to be cutting this bit out here, I want to make sure that if I do take any of the coating off on a matte cardstock, it takes it off this bit and not this bit out here. So it's still attached, but when I take the tape off, it's not going to affect this bit, which is the bit I want to keep. So I just want to maneuver that a little bit because I don't think it's quite in the center and like myself and Natalie we don't usually do measurements as such we are terrible so um and and my favorite one of my favorite things about Natalie is the way she says um okay we're just going to measure it and she says yeah that's seven and two notches I just love that mm. I love that style of measuring it's um it's something I know that what I mean I know what you mean as well I think people know what I mean as well I think people do because you look that's at it and it's that's how we do it as a crafter. Yeah. Otherwise, it's is it seven and one eight? Seven it, and one eight. It could be actually. But you know what? Oh, I don't want the whole one eight the eights thing. I don't get that. I don't <laughs> get that. So the best the best thing if you're terrible at maths is to just stick just stick to the quarters. Definitely stick to the quarters. I think as well we do that on the with the scoreboard, don't we? We say, oh, if you measure it at like seven and a notch. Because we've got the notches on the scoreboard, it, it makes sense. I think it's nice that crafters have their own special way of measuring. Yeah. And we have our own system. So we're not imperial, we're not metric, we're just crafters.
crazy. <laughs> Craft <crazy> Very true. <laughs> okay, so we're going to cut the we've cut the aperture now. And so what we've got when we take this out of here now, we have got our lovely arch cut out of this uh, cardstock. So when we now pop that on top of our card, we can put our dimensional card front inside. We can attach that. I need to just get that bit of low tap tape off there and that will come off perfect because we're on glossy, um, adorable, scorable. Let's just get rid of that. So now when I put this behind here, that sticks on the front of the card and then we don't have any mess when we open the card we've not got you know to put an extra piece of cardstock on here so that is you know one little tip Beautiful. for putting it um looks, together it looks so good it really looks so good when it's like that it does actually it's very neat and you know what it once you've got used to doing that um it's you know what You'll you do it that way every back, time Never turn back. No, because the worst thing is um, trying to cut through. Well, it's not the worst thing, but it can be difficult depending on your machine. It can be difficult and you can get those horrible like marks yes. on your cardstock when yeah. you're like, layering up your Definitely. layering up sheets and it doesn't look good. Definitely. So it's always nice to um, just have a few little tips like that. And then obviously these dimensional card fronts, they will um, go in with your um, high tack tape, so your red tape. But I'm using my regular double-sided only because um, if I was sticking it to um, a pre-cut aperture card, I would use red tape and stick it in from that side, from the card front. Let's get rid of the insert for a minute. Um, but because I'm not doing that, it doesn't matter because this is going to be taped down as well. So we're going to get double um, You've kind, kind of got of... that extra security, haven't you? From yes. The, the piece. Yeah. So it's kind of wedged Definitely, in. definitely. So now we can put that onto the front of our cardstock there like that. So... But we're not going to do that yet because we need to um, put our flowers in there first of all. So pop that to one side. So now we've got our um, beautiful decollage topper here, our base layer. So we take one of these off and then we'll start to build up the layers. So what I've done, and this is the good thing about decollage, nothing is numbered, nothing is lettered. So you have complete control of which layers you are putting on Very true. Um, where so if you decide I don't want you know I want to make it go as far as I can I want to stretch it out so I can make the most um, amount of projects then what you can do is you can pick and choose so you can alternate your layers um, now I've been working on this for a couple of weeks so I'm kind of used to, to what's coming next so let's pop this one onto here like that and then we will pop our next one on here so this is one of the kind of I think this is one of the easier ones mm. just because we it kind of decreases in just, size quite rapidly so it's great for anyone though isn't it because they there's the pieces are quite small but they're not so small that you can't no it's everything is manageable um I think but you know what as well um Another little um, tip here, when you're using the decollage, you might think, well, I don't want to put all those layers in between because I need to post this, but I really wanted to use this image. Use the layers in exactly the same way, but rather than putting pads between, glue them, yeah. right? So you're going to glue them flat. Or you can use the smaller foam pads that we've got. You can, yeah. We have These are two millimetres that I'm using. We have one millimetre as well. Um, but you know what? It does look really nice when you actually glue it and it's flat. It mm. still has some dimension, but it just looks different. Um, and it, but it looks nice. It's just you know, try it. I think you'll you'll be quite happy um, at the um, results. Loads of people are guessing. Um, the answer to our Winner Weekly question this okay. week. There's lots of different answers too, which is good. Yes, definitely. Which is good. Someone said um, 60,000 and I didn't cheat. I'm sure, <laughs> okay. I'm, sure, I'm sure a lot of people haven't cheated. Oh, However, sure, we, yeah. we are aware because we have been told by the said person um, that looking back on your emails is a great way to find out the answer. Yeah. Um, but if you want to be in with a chance of winning that bundle, which is worth Eighty pounds, eighty pounds, and eight people are going to win it. So eight people are going to be picked on Friday to win eighty pounds worth of hunky dory goodies. Um, the question that you need to answer 
is um, we hit an amazing milestone of 80k Facebook likes but what milestone did we what milestone did the Facebook page hit in 2018? 18. I know we said 20. 18, <laughs> yeah. We're going to have to make sure she today. brings the specs in, aren't we? Um, is it A, <laughs> um, 20,000, B, 40,000, or C, 60,000? So all you have to do, like, share, and comment on any of the videos that we've posted this week, um, and you can, you can be in with a chance of winning that. But don't miss out on Friday's show because we will announce the eight winners then. Perfect. Have you? There's lots of sentiments on here, Sheila, because there there's are sentiments also on the element sheet. Element as well, sheets, isn't there? yeah, definitely. Um, I, I, I particularly like this one. Um, the brightest blooms just for you, and um, because I, I'm quite um, a symmetrical person, I like things to be symmetrical, straight in piles. Um, I know it's a bit weird. I do it every night when I take my slippers off. I did it last night, and as I took them off, um, one of them was a bit kind of skew with, and I had to before I got in bed. I had to go back and put it straight. So yeah, I'm a, a I'm quite you know. A bit weird in that way. <laughs> so, so what we're going to do now, and I'm going to use my construction glue for this bit. So if you take your card blank, okay, and um, this is what I'm going to do. Right, so I'm going to sit, and I, I use a lot of my... Um, I don't know, I have this, um, and it's not really a skill, it's probably just experience, but over the years, because I've knitted from being six, I've got used to what four inches looks like, what ten centimetres is like, so if I have to knit something to seven and a half, I can kind of guess, and then very often when I measure it, I go, oh my goodness, it's seven and a half, it's bang on, so I think I've got quite a good eye for that, so, no, you'll watch me now, I'll do it all wrong. <laughs> what I normally do with this is I kind of, you know, sit it underneath and look at it like that, mm -hmm. and go, right, it's, it's almost right there, so I'll take this off, and then I just look at that for a minute and I judge, you know, where it's going to go. It's, it's just a thing I do. Um, so let's see if we can get it right. And if I don't, you can come over and smack my hands. <laughs> okay. see, I would do this totally different from you now. I, I bet. I know you would. What, I know you would. What I, would, what I think I'd do, which is totally different from Sheila, is I would flip your um, your cardstock with your dome on its sat on its back. Yes. And then I would put and put tape, that in. Yeah. Then I would put tape over my um, base and my elements there on the back, so they're like hanging over. And then yeah. I would stick it in. Yeah. Does that make sense? I, yeah, absolutely. So I, I totally I, get I, that. I do it like completely the other way around. But isn't that isn't it weird? Because I know I definitely would not get it straight. That's why. Well, yeah, I can I can understand everyone has different ways and this is why everyone but creates... Using the glue, you do have that ability to move that about. Yes, that's, that's what I was going to say. You can, um, you know, if you're using something like um, our craft glue or our construction glue, you've got a little bit of time to kind of manoeuvre it around. Um, but I'm fairly happy um, with that. Um, so Karen that said, down. are these domes available on the website? Karen, they are yes. available on our website, so you can buy them in packs with the card blanks um, if you want to just use the domes or we have a um, bundle of our domes the code that you will need is dome 101 so dome 101 and you get one two three four five you get six different shapes that you can use with our card blanks um, so you get sort of the the basic shapes you get the circle the square the rectangle the oval, the arch, um, and I think you get the inverted corner rectangle, but then we obviously have lots of different other fancier shapes, and I think they're all available um, as well. I don't know if you can get them in a bundle, but definitely you can get them individually, I think, yeah. or with the card blanks, which is great, because then it, it kind of saves you, saves you cutting if you've got the card blanks Definitely, well. definitely. Right, so we're going to use the corners here because I just love these corners. I've always been a bit of a crazy person for corners. I love getting a square of card and cutting it into a corner. So if I've got like um, an odd piece of card that's left over and I feel like there's a bit of space on my card that I can fill, then I'll I'll cut a square and then cut it in half and create my, my own corners. Um, and I used to, when I used to do a lot of scrapbooking, I was obsessed with um, these photo corners that you can buy on a sheet, especially when... Um, they appeared in, um, they actually appeared on a sheet, um, 
I think it was done by an American company. This is long before I did my crafting as a, as a job. Um, they were done in like craft card. And it was like, oh, it's like Christmas had come all at once. I was like, oh my goodness, look at this craft card corners. What could be better? Um, so yeah, I love corners um, and I love putting them on there. I just feel like it, if you've not used mirror card around the outside as your outer edge, it, does add it, something, just, it? it does and it just pulls it in and it just keeps with that lovely um, theme that we've got running through. So what I'm going to do now, I have taken, there's two tags as well, it says you're the brightest of the bunch. One I've got little presents on and one has got the sentiment. So what I've done is join them together with a bit of red tape and then I'm going to stick these onto the bottom of the card here like this. So they just sit on the edge there and then I have here because I didn't want to attach a ribbon or a piece of twine through there it would be in the way so I'm just going to use silver gem like that and then the last thing to do is just pop our little insert inside um, and again just make sure that's the right way up and as you know all our inserts that we uh, bring to you in these kits have the same designs on as the cardstock Mm -hmm. um, so what you'll find is that you've just got a muted version of the um, decollage that you're using in the card. So let's just pop this well, This is a good idea. Here. Lynn says that sometimes she uses the notch part of the envelope punch to cut out her own corners. Ah. That's a very clever idea. That is indeed. And there we go, there's the finished um, card with the dimensional card from, but look how that is now protecting all that lovely work that you've just done. So you might not want to use this as a card, you might just want to put it um, on a wall or something and, and, and it would be really nice on a wall. But if I stand that up for you now and then you can see um, what that looks like from the front, but doesn't it just finish it off putting it in that, that it card front? Absolutely, um, beautiful. and you can see the the whole dimension in there. It's like when you go into a museum to look at the crown jewels. Yeah, you, don't touch. you can't touch it because it's behind it. glass, and it's like that. You can go well, you can you can touch the front of the glass, but you can't get to my decollage. Yeah, don't touch my decollage. <laughs> Do not touch the decollage. Um, so to go alongside this kit, like Sheila said, you can get a pack of our. Um, card insert so there's 36 suits in here there's 12 designs and you get three of each which is great because if you are someone that wants to spread out um your decollage then it's the best way because you've got three inserts that's going to go with each 12 of your decollage so you're going to be able to use these um they're muted turn this one around i'm hoping that they're all the other way around now there we go that's right um so you can see that they work with all of the card stocks so you've got one that matches every single one here. Um, just absolutely lovely. They are a little bit brighter than I think you see on screen. Um, so you do see more of the color on there. But what a great way to add um, to your um, collection and you know, just really finish off the cards because an insert always makes the difference. It really, really does. Totally, um, totally. We also have a little book that goes with this collection. Um, so let's go over to Sheila um, to have a look at that little book. Okay, so here we go, our Flourishing Florals uh, little book. And now, I know Emily um, before was laughing in Ashley because they didn't mm -hmm. realise that I came from Wigan and I said book and not book. Um, I find it really difficult to say um, book. book because that's <laughs> not how I speak. So I did say book. little book. So I apologise <laughs> if that sounds a bit odd to you, but <laughs> hey-ho, I'm, I'm not going to change it now. I'm in my 50s, it's too late for all that. Um, so what we're going to show you here is in here you're going to see that you get six pages of each design. So this is... A6 in size and it's actually, um, or is it 6 by 6 by 4 A6, 6 by 4 it's kind of, there's not much in it really. But you're going to get six of each design. So we have 144 pages in here. Now you will see, as I flick through, that you're going to have some different designs to what we have on the decollage. So what we've done is we've put some other um, new images in. So you'll see here we've got this page with the crocus on and they are quite quirky aren't they i like would that. love that Very in stylized. a frame it is definitely then we've got the lovely uh anemones and an anemone, anemone, anemone whatever they are um yeah i can't say it because one is under the sea and one is a flower so <laughs> i'm not sure which way around it is but then we've got the tulips so again these are great for using your nesting dies to create pyramage invitage or you can actually cut areas out and decoupage them mm. um really beautiful and again this one is based 
uh, sorry, we've got daffodils here. So it's kind of similar to the one I showed you with the crocus on in colours. You could put so, them all in different frames, couldn't you? Yeah. Have them in there. Definitely put them in, in a room in your house. Uh, then we have this one, which has got like foxglove. We've got butterfly on there, but a little bit more wild flowers. And I love this one, which has got like the, um, almost like a fabric vase. And the rose has got fabric petals with polka dots on, which is really nice. I've got another, let me just flick out a little bit further. Oh dear, I just can't get rid of that one because I've got, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so you get six of those. So that's proof there that you do get six. And then we've got this beautiful one that we said was suitable for sympathy or for wedding or for Christmas. This is a really, really lovely one. I, I just love this. It's really, really nice. And again, let's move those out of the way so we get to the next one. So this one is um, that way, isn't it? I love this one in the decollage. Um, yes, it's very pretty. It's lovely, isn't it? Because all these little um, bits at the top here on the like trellis pop out. So you really get that depth, like you can see through what's behind yeah. the trellis. It's really, really nice. Began six of that. And I think this would be really, really lovely with some glitter on for Christmas. It's really, really nice design. And then we have that lovely um, kind of what we described as regal and vintage and classic, but without the foiling, they look totally different, they don't do, they? They do, they do look totally, they still have that real sort of um, royal look about them. Yes, they do, but if you want something that's not quite as garish or that's not been foiled, or you might want to add some glitter or your own foiling, you might have foiling machines at home that you want to foil in your own way, and you can do that with these little books. Um, that's another uh, advantage to having these. Then we've got the lovely, again, wildflowers here with the butterflies. And then we will go a little bit further through. And then again, uh, bluebells, look at those. Those are really, really pretty. I love the kind of um, clean and um, simple look with those. And then we've got that beautiful cross with those lilies, very Easter-like, perfect for sympathy, any religious occasion. And then we've got this one, flowers in the teacup. Um, so cute. pretty. Look at that china teacup, is so nice. And we're going to be using some of these on the next demonstration. I love this as well. This Again, is very cute. Totally the same as that other one though, isn't it? Different. Could have yeah. All yeah. three of them together in it's frames. It's very lovely. I love that. And then I love this one in the pale. Very cute. That looks three dimensional Perfect on its own, for Easter, it? that one. Yeah. Definitely, and you could even put like someone's name on here. Yeah. Um, you know, put it in a frame and then it could go in a bathroom maybe on the wall. And then that lovely one that you said, Natalie, about sending to a bride um, on the that. morning of her special day. And then again, we have this one, which is just like a cascading flowers. And I love this kind of, not ombre effect, but the way it just kind of disappears and almost, you know, like when you get to the end of a record and it fades out, it's a bit like that. It's yeah. got that lovely like fading a, like on it. like a watercolour effect, isn't it? Yes, yeah, really pretty. And then we've got the beautiful flowers in the jar here. That is so perfect for this time of the it year. It is, it's lovely. It's really, really kind of autumnal, isn't it? And then again, that one of, uh, I think, I don't know if that is, I think that's my favorite of the whole kit. I love that one. It is one. very pretty. It's very, very nice. And then we have um, the retro one though is, oh, I don't know. Retro one is it's one of my favorites. There's just too many lovely different designs. Ah, yeah, definitely. But and they're then, all different. They are. All, they our are. favorites for different reasons. There's got to be someone in, something in here for everyone. And you know what, if you say, well, what about sending them to, to male, you know, males in our family? Well, this is perfect, look. Valentine's Day, anniversary, love, just to say, you know, I love you, thinking of you. This is perfect, again, so, you know, if you're feeling the love or you're missing someone in your life at the moment because of COVID, get this cut out and send it to them. It won't, you know, uh, it, will, it will cheer them up and make them happy. So that's our Flourishing Florals um, little book um, for Lots you. Lots of people there. love that little book, Sheila. So I'm, I'm sure that they're very excited to see what you've got coming up next. Okay, so what we're going to do with this, um, and again, I was thinking about this um, while I was in the, uh, at my desk this morning. And I thought, okay, let's do... Um, Let's do something with it. It doesn't necessarily have to be a card. So what I've done is I've taken a piece of pink, I don't scorable, I'm not sure what the correct um, name for this colour is, but it's beautiful and it goes with everything that I've picked out of the uh, little book. I've chosen a few pages um, to use and to see if I can create like a little scene. Um, almost like a garden scene. So I'm going to cut my um, adorable scoreable down to um, five and seven eighths, or as Natalie might say, five and fourteen notches, possibly. I'm oh, not no. sure. No, I think something I'd like that. that. <laughs> I 
think I'd work backwards. Do you, do you really? So I'd probably, oh, I'd probably say six. Minus like two. Two notches below the six. <laughs> two, no, two notches below the six. We don't, we don't go past, oh we goodness. don't go past two notches, do we? <laughs> we either go over by two oh, notches dear, or, or under, under by two okay. notches. Okay, that's, a, that's an even crazier method of measuring, you, but You it, think I can count 14 notches? Think about this. I'd, I'd probably cut it at like 15 or okay, I'd it short okay. at 13. <laughs> oh my word. Oh dear me, we do Definitely have, couldn't we do, do that. have fun in here. So what we're going to do, I've taken these two um, images that are the same. So I'm going to um, cut them down and put them together. Now I know they don't exactly match at the minute, but we're going to cut a little bit off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add um, some of the other flowers that I'm going to cut out of the pages and just kind of pop them on. So it could effectively be um, a picture in a frame. So what I'm going to do is just move that up a little bit there so we get um, some of the pink showing all around the edge. And I've just made a little mark here because I want to cut it off the white bit rather than the stems at the bottom and then have all this white at the top. So what I'm going to do is put my other one in at the same time so that we know when we cut those down they will be same size. So we're just trimming off here. It's actually, uh, Natalie, probably about in your measuring style, probably about two notches. Two notches. Uh, something like that. Two yeah, something like that. Yeah, two notches off the top. Okay, so now we have our two um, little panels here. So what I'm going to do now is I want to put that one on there and then I want to put, so I'm just going to move that one up a little bit and then I want to put this one here as well and I want to look at how much we need to chop off here so what we're going to do I mean you can if you want to put those down like that because yeah. it's thin paper it's not going to show it that much super big will it no so what I am going to do looking at where the flowers end this flower ends here so I want to keep the tip of that flower on so what I'm going to do is put a little mark here and take that slither off this side um, so Let's just pop that, line that up on the cutting section there. And there we go. So now when we put these on, we should be able to fit these on here and have a nice little pink edge showing. There we go. So let's glue these on with a bit of construction glue. And um, then we will be able to start to build up a little picture. So... Um, Lynn says she still hasn't used her construction glue. How? Oh my how, goodness, how have you how managed? How have you managed to have that in your house and not yet use it? Oh my goodness. Lynn, you need to get that out today. Get that glue if out. you do anything today, <laughs> you need to get that glue out. Absolutely. Just get it out and give it a little smell. I knew you were going to say that. I wanted to say that. <laughs> it smells it really so does smell good, good, doesn't it? It does smell good. It's still uh, I mean, don't, don't ingest it totally, but yeah. just, you know what I mean? I mean, just smell, little, it, smell it with care and have a little ooh. whiff of it. Um, and I think, um, well, yeah. Sarah that also says, I measure very much like Natalie, although I'm a lot older, I have progressed to four notches. <laughs> oh, this, May is, maybe, this is good. Maybe in a couple of years, when I've passed my twenties, <laughs> maybe I'll try four notches, but until then, until then I'll stick uh, with the Are two. you sticking with the two? Yeah. <laughs> and definitely not 14. No way at all. No way. We'll just go backwards. That's funny. Go backwards. Stick with the okay. two. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. It works for me. It works. <laughs> oh, you're a funny one. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do now, we've taken this um, lovely page here and I thought what I would do is put some flowers on in different areas to try and create like a garden using pads as well but obviously with the bigger flowers will go at the front so I took three or four different pages out of the the little book and obviously I'm not going to cut all the flowers out but I wanted this big one here because this can then sit at the bottom of the page in the corner um, like it's right at the front um, so if we just go around this flower here and remember, you've got six pages, so if you wanted to decoupage this flower, you could. Um, but if you don't want to, then you don't need to. So let's just chop around here. And then once we've cut this out, and I'm not going to stick them on until the end, or until at least I've cut some more of my flowers out, um, just so that you can, um, we can get it right, we can get the proportions right. 
Okay, so we would have this somewhere like right at the front here. And obviously um, that's, you know, very close up to us. So what we're going to do now as well, I've taken pages out that have got predominantly a lot of pink in. So I looked at the teacup one. I know some of you are going to cringe because you don't want me to probably cut out of here. But I'm sorry, I'm it's going okay. straight in and I'm going to cut We've it. Got so five pages, We've got Exactly. And this is where your freedom comes in as a crafter and a designer. Because then you, you know, if people say to you, what do you do, you know, what, what do you do in spare time? You don't have to say, I'm a card maker or I make cards. You can say, I kind of design my own cards. You know, because that is, in effect, what you are doing. It's very true. We are just giving you, like, the tools or the, you know, the elements that you need to try and, you know, be a bit more free with your designs. And then it's absolutely entirely up to you what you do with them. Um, and so you can imagine why a lot of our designers um, enjoy designing because, you know, they will source some artwork um, it might be licensed, it might not be, but obviously they go through the right channels, buy the, buy the artwork, and then, you know, the artist says to us, yeah, yeah, we are happy for you to kind of do what, what you want to do with that. And so that's then where the designers will pick out, maybe pick out something like this. So maybe pick out that little section of a flower there, and then they turn that into an all over print. So you might look at the print and think, that's a really nice pattern, but you don't realise, if you look at it, Kit home, have a look at it and see if you can find what they've what taken that pieces. from, and it'll be it'll probably something that's on very your, true. um, you know, on your uh, page uh, very, or on your true. on your decollage or on your topper sheet. So now we're going to cut out this beautiful rose, and we're going to keep that little white flower on the end there because that's very cute. And I think as well, we are going to keep the purple one on here because we've got a lot of purple going on in this garden. And then we will just start to add some of these. Now, I had another thought as well. On my um, mat here, you will see that beautiful one. Now, if you cut some um, pink circles out of your cardstock and coil them, you get that effect. So what you could do as well on here, just to build up that, you could, I've just had a thought, or I've just had an idea, um, you could actually make some flowers that are proper three-dimensional that will stand out from, from that as well. So we're going to cut a couple of these out, all these little bits here, I'm just going to put them to one side because I can use some more of those later. What I'm going to do here now is I'm going to cut out one or two of these so we'll have this one here that's got the leaves on it and then we will have the one above it as well. So I'm basically making my own garden collage here. Making your own little scene up, aren't you? Yeah, I mean my own little gardening world. It's really nice as well because even though you've not stuck the stuff down, you've just like laid them on top, it already looks like it's meant to be together. It does look like it's going to be kind of gardeny doesn't it it's and crazy. If, if you've got these areas here where your pages join you know there's not nothing stopping you like popping some of the smaller flowers on there so we're going to grab another one of these let's just grab this one here and then we can start to put some um pads on but i i just as well want to try this little idea which it will be quick all right, so let's have a look. Let's get some pads and start to build a little bit of this up. So remember, this doesn't have to be a card. This can be something that you keep for you. You know, you know I need, um, I have quite a few empty walls in my, um, my craft room and I keep thinking, I need to get some Make stuff something. on the walls. Why am I going out buying pictures and things in frames when I've got a mass of craft stuff that's very beautiful that I could create things with myself. Why am I going doing that? Sometimes we do it for comfort, sometimes we do it because it matches. But you know what? Um, you can create so many lovely things and put them up in your home, you know. With something like this, you could get a little set of uh, like clock face and make your own clocks. You know, cute. you could do that for, for Christmas gifts. You, if you've got all your previous uh, decollage and your toppers, why not make some clocks for people, you know, and, and make some for the men in your life as well, it, it, especially as we're probably not going to be going out doing a lot of shopping this Christmas. 
um, and you've bought all this craft stuff, use it, make some presents for your family for Christmas. Um, you never know, it might end up becoming a little uh, sideline for you. You know, you might end up with loads of people. Loads of people wanting order to order things. things off you, so, you know. I right. used to do crafts as a kid. Did you, Emily? Yeah, and I was absolutely useless. I used to make, <laughs> like, um, just really simple stuff, like um, pencil holes out of Pringles tins. Uh, They're the best perfect. Perfect. Kind of crafts. Best crafts ideas. <laughs> the Our toilet roll tube. The, um, oh, yes. Of the course. stationery holders that are on my desk are made out of um, cereal boxes. Yeah. So it has some really cool paper. Yeah. Um, so I just wrapped them in that paper and brought them in on like, I think I brought them in on like my first day. I think you did actually and everyone was like, oh, and I had this, look at these on a desk. Made, I made like um, a pen holder from a, I've got like an old frame that I painted and I had, um, what it was, it's like a, a tote bag. Yeah. Um, and I cut it up, wrapped it around the back of my frame. Um, so I have like storage holders. So I've got pens, it's really I've got clever. like a, um, I've got a little notepad in there. Um, so yeah, made the whole thing, brought it in on the first day. A you did? Eager, little I bit remember. Eager, but, no. I remember. Because we, everyone used to go, have you seen that? Oh, have you seen what that new girl's got on her desk out there? Um, made it. She's made it herself. It's really nice. And people did used to come along and go, oh, that's really nice. Will you make me one? Um, it's kind of yeah. um, in the back of my, on my desk now, because it's very messy in my desk at the moment. <laughs> I noticed it when I put some card blanks on your, on your desk this morning. I thought, mm, it's a little bit messy for Natalie this. It was. I just kind of left, I did a dash, a dash yesterday. I was like, it's fine. I'm working on this anyway. Yeah, absolutely. Get out of here. Absolutely. I did have yeah. Anne and Dan both telling me to leave. Oh, I know what you like. It's hard to leave when you've got stuff to do. You just yeah. want to uh, I am, stay and I, get it done. I you are a bit always, obsessive. Always the, last, like always the last person in the office. I know. But bar whoever's locking up. But that's okay. Okay, I think this idea will work. Now, I'm not sure. I should have probably done this with um, hot glue, but I'm just I'm just going to make this one, and then I'll show you what I've done. And this is going to be a really um, nice little thing to do. So if I can grab... Oh, perfect, it's going to work. This is where your little back-to-front um, tweezers come in. So now I need to be careful with this just because... If I was you, I would do this with hot glue, but I'll just show you in a second, because this might not hold it well because it's paper, but we'll try it. Look at the, um, the spirally flowers here. So we've got a couple that we can we can use in. I know we're, um, I'm looking at the time, so I need to finish this one because I've still got worry. another demo to do. But I just want to show you, if you, and you've seen me do these before with um, ink me cast stock, with vellum, with paper, but this works really well. And it was just a thought that I had as I was stirring at this while I was cutting other things out. If you cut this into a spiral, okay, now you can just do the spiral randomly. It doesn't have to be um, very accurate because what we're going to do now, so you see how it's spirally. If we actually spiral it up properly, this is going to give us two or three little dimensional flowers. So if you roll it up like that. That's a very good idea this, Sheila. Right the way around. It's a bit fiddly. It is a bit fiddly, but, but it looks really good. It doesn't matter because they're going to be tiny. They're going to be really, really small. And this, I would always do this with hot hot glue. Um, so I'm... Um, I'm a little bit worried that they're going to unravel, but because I've used construction glue, which takes a little bit longer to dry, but we might be okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to look where I want to pop one of these. I've got a gap here. So I'm going to pop the first one that I made in there, like that. And it doesn't matter if it does unravel a bit. So you can see that one there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop see if I've got something I can pop on top that will just hold it there. Like my Claire said, she wants a picture of my cereal box um, <laughs> yeah. stationery on my page. So I will. I'll put that. I'll um, yeah. add my little storagey thing. I'll take a picture so you can all see. Absolutely, yeah. And I've actually found, like, last year I think it was, I found some really cool, like, A4 little boxes. Um, I think they're only like 99p in the sale. Really? But they're like the same um, like style of paper that I use to jazz it all up. So um, I bought them as well. I'm a bit of a stationery freak. Actually. You are, aren't you? I love 
stationary. It's a bit of an obsession. I think it. I think most women have that. Um, I've still got like three notebooks that I bought on my first day that I've not even used yet. Yeah. And do you remember when when we were both um, like when Anne Marie was here because Anne Marie is stationary um, yes, she's crazy hoarder stationary. as well. And when we used to go out like after work, we'd go to like TK Maxx and places like that. When we go, oh look at that. Anne Marie would love that. Let's get it and we'll, yeah, we'll keep it for Christmas. Much. So Anne Marie gets bombarded every year with like notebooks and, and then she'll come in and she'll be like, I think I'm going to use my new notebook because I've still got three that you bought me last time. And yeah, we've especially if it's got animal print on as well. Anything um, animal print. But yeah, I have notebooks at home, lots of them, all different sizes. And I wanted one last week. I know that I had one that has um, like shoes on the front and then it's got feathers on as well. I was like, where is that um, huge A4 pad? With the um, with the shoes on, I could not find it anywhere. And then I was tidying up and I found it. I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to use this as my new ideas book. Um, and it just got it's lovely because it's spiral bound as well. It was only like a cheap one, but it's just the fact that it's got those big shoes on uh, on the front and it's all girly. So, okay, so my flowers are not quite as tight as I wanted them to be. Do this if you've got a hot glue gun. Do it with hot glue. But again, this is just going to give, and I'll hold it, it up in a look second. Really good. Um, because what so I'm going to do, it all coordinates perfectly. Like you would never know that you've probably have you used like four pages there. Uh, the one, two, three, five, five. I think. But you you can't tell that they don't work together. I think no, that's the not best at all. thing about flowers as well. Is you not can at just, all. So that one I just, just need to. Okay, so I'll hold that up in a minute and then you can get the idea. But please, if you are going to um, do something like this, then use a hot glue gun or use something, um, maybe like your craft glue, and leave it rolled up in your squeezers because that way then you will end up with um, a, a tighter flower. But if I lift that up now to the camera, uh, let's see, you need to go that way, don't we? Can you see those three look so good. flowers that way? Um, that we've just done so we've got that like three-dimensional effect that looks so good Sheila. Um so if I hold it up now to the front camera and then you can see what we've done um, it's again it's something you can work on you could put it on the front of a card but just make it for yourself and stick it in your room and then you look at it every day it's not something you have to give away do something for yourself for a change you could put it on some like little um, twine and have it as like a little hanging yeah. decoration yeah definitely or frame. Put, a, put a calendar tab on the front <gasps> so that you know yes. for 2021 yes. so that you know um, the dates and things it's just another little way of using the, the little books so cute absolutely love it Next up, because we, we can't just stop there with this, we have a fantastic selection of moonstone dies that have been designed specifically to work alongside this. So we've got three dies. We've got two that work wonderfully um, to, to layer your decollage on top of. They're beautiful, um, absolutely stunning. And then the third one is um, some wonderful sentiments. Um, so we'll go through each one individually. Um, first of all, we have this one here, which is our filigree floral. So you can see here, if I move it up, you've got that really lovely, um, these are so detailed. I cannot tell you how detailed these are and they look stunning. If you missed them yesterday, the samples that were on um, Create and Craft, go, go tune in to that show, go watch it back um, to have a look at these samples because they are beautiful. Um, so if we turn it around, you can see how big the die is. Um, it fits just wonderfully on a 5x7 or an A5, this one. Um, but you can ha have this on your larger cards, your 7s, um, 7x7, 8x8s, because it, it just looks lovely with that decollage on top. You've got a lovely border strip, a sentiment, um, and two butterflies there that are just as detailed. This is $14.99, um, but because um, our dies are always, I think they're always on a deal, so if you buy any of our $14.99 ones, um, I think you can get get them in a deal. Yeah, I think it's two for 20. It's two for 20, 24, isn't it? Um, and then the next one, you have this beautiful sort of um, square lattice design. This one is Lattice Love. So you have that beautiful square which is in the centre. Then you have the other elements that you can see here. So you've got another little strip, you've got a beautiful sentiment and um, a sort of like a frame that you can add to the middle of that. But these look fantastic. Um, it's my fault that I don't have samples to show you because I left none behind. 
um, for Facebook um, and sent Sheila off to tell you where all of them. So I, I do apologise for that. I d and I did think, do I need to take these, some of these back? And I thought, no, because Natalie's so organised. She will have these already. Um, but yeah, we, it's partly my fault as And well, then the so. last of the three is a fantastic sentiments range. Everyone loves sentiments. This one is fantastic. You've got that really beautiful font in here. And it's perfect for everything. You've got so many occasions here. You've got anniversary, congratulations, graduation, celebrate, um, engagement, sympathy, um, birthday, happy you've got have you got new home you've got new job you've got retirement thinking of you you could you've got new home i'm sure you've got new baby for you you've you've got passed so you could have congratulations you've passed um good luck well wishes anniversary on your anniversary there's so many different combinations of sentiments you can create with this dies are great for um when you don't have them in your sentiment pad or yeah. if you want them to be in a certain color so they match your work perfectly um so this is another great addition 14.99 in total um you can get them on a multi-buy as well though yeah two for 24.98 two for 24.98 so that Bye. is our moonstone dies um, that have been designed wonderfully. I think Jen designed these ones as well yes. um, to go with this collection. So they're beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, and to show you just how well they work, um, Sheila's going to do another little demonstration um, before we finish off for the day. I am. So what I'm going to do is I thought, let's cut all these out of Ink Me cardstock and make just a white card. Something that's a little bit more um, kind of fresh and simple and I think as well it's a really good way of um, testing your your dies you know not testing them because we know that they, they work perfectly but testing them so that you can see what cuts they make because it's it's different when you see it on a board or it's different when you see it on um, a card that's been made by us it's nice to get a die and just cut it out of something um, just plain white cream black um, there's nothing stopping you actually making boards like we make. Um, now that has cut beautifully. Let me just lift this up off the magnetic sheet. I'm just going to do a double check. I might just pop it through just to do these little sections here. It has cut all through. I just want to make sure that is absolutely um, cut perfectly. Um, I think these are so detailed anyway, Sheila, that I, I think it's definitely worth just putting it through a second time because yes. you know there's sometimes where there's just little little areas where it's a little bit it's a little bit tight and then you've yeah. got to sit there poking it out so to save you having to do that just run it through twice yeah save definitely um yeah, and it all depends on your machine as well we're all on different machines um we always have a, a piece of uh, cup tidy to just you know help if we need be uh, if, if we need to do that so now what we're going to do now is just we don't need to take that off because i've cut this out now so this is crazy sheila yeah so ruth ann has just commented to say she the sun isn't even up in texas yet and she's getting up at 4 30 every day just for, to watch hunky dory demos oh, oh my word oh, how nice are going to bed ruth ann I'd be in bed by midday, me. Oh, yeah, you wouldn't be up at 4.30, would you, Natalie, for anything? No, <laughs> not at all. I tried it last week, actually. I had telly um, on, I think, was it last Monday? Was it? It was, I yeah. I had to be at telly for 8 o'clock in the morning, so I had to set off um, um, at 5, which I did. Got up, got up. I was fine. I was fine for the first two hours. The last hour of the journey was very, very difficult. So if anyone saw a red car driving <laughs> erratically on the A1 at 7.30 in the morning, that was probably me. <laughs> because it was such a struggle. Like, yeah. sleep is the most important thing in my life. <laughs> I'm not joking. I know, you I like sleep. Like, if, yeah. I've not got a, if I've not had a good night's sleep, people know. People know. Yeah, you are grumpy, just aren't her, you? Just leave her alone yeah, for an hour. <laughs> she'll, she'll, she'll walk around. Yeah, we have to let her warm up a bit. Um, I'm terrible. Yeah. I'm really terrible. But, whereas, yeah, it's weird because she was, you didn't want to go down and stay for like two, two or three nights, did you? And when we were like, well, what time do you have to be there? And I was like, well, go in the morning. She'll be like, I have to set off at five. Or, 
early and I was like you'll be fine she said no I really don't think I will and I was like well I can ring you if you like because I'm always up by you know I'm always up around five-ish I said so I can ring you if you like make sure you're up um because I love getting up at four o'clock and, and driving down setting up at five whereas you're the opposite way aren't you oh yeah you can drive back at night and get back at midnight whereas mm. after eight o'clock at night I'm just um I'm just like Natalie that's my hibernation time um, so we work at opposite ends of the scale, really. <laughs> um, but yeah, you, you did say, didn't you? I can't do that again. I, do that I again. really can't do that again. So I, we. I came home and I said to I said to my dad, we were having. When was it? I think it was last. It was on Sunday actually, and we were sat eating our Sunday dinner. And he said, "Are you telly this week?" I said, "Yeah, I've got shows on Friday." He said, "Are you going to go down in the morning again?" I was like, "No. <laughs> if you want me to be here next year." And for the safety of all the other drivers on the road, no, I am not getting up that early again. <laughs> so oh I'm going to drive goodness. down. I drive down. This is the thing, though. I'll set off at like eight o'clock at night and get there at midnight. It's fine. I know you're I you're that. good I at doing cannot, that, aren't you? I can't do it the opposite way. Around. I am quite rubbish. But loads of people, loads of people are early morning people. Loads of people. And yeah. there's, there's someone else from Texas too, Carla. Um, really? Has joined us from Texas. Lots of people are up at four a.m. What are all these lovely people doing? I know. Get to bed. <laughs> crazy Get to people. Bed, you watch crazy it, people. I know we want them to watch us, but you know, make sure you are getting sleep and looking after yourself as well. Four a.m. Um, okay. So what we're going to do now? We have cut the frame and I've just poked all the holes out. I've brushed all the holes out. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut these um, elements out as well. So we've got these lovely sentiments, and we're going to kind of just build them all up and put them on the front of the card. So this is a good way of um, actually looking at how your dies cut and what detail is in them. Because we're, I think sometimes we overlook that. We just think, oh, I've got those dies. I'm gonna go straight in and make a card. But very often it's nice to just cut them out and look at what um, patterns are on them, what you could use behind them. They are very beautiful. You know, um, it's a really, really good, good way of, of doing it. So we're going to pop that onto there. That will be cutting. So with this one that we're putting through now, this is from the um, lattice, lattice one, set. Yes. And so what we're going to do, we're going to put this panel that we're cutting out here into the middle of this card here. I've just found a little piece there that I've not popped out. And again, I was looking at these thinking, you know what, you could actually stitch a little bit through some of these as well or add some um, pearls or some, some gems in the middle of the flowers. Yeah, I think we are all good to go there. So look at this beautiful shape here. Um, it's really, really pretty and it sits really nicely in the middle here. So we're going to pop that into the middle and then we've got our next um, one that we've just cut out here. Now I might have to just pop that back through I think even though I have just taking it off the die because let's see I think my G's not quite caught I should have turned that round sometimes as well um, and I think this is this is a problem that happens for quite a few people your plates can get to that point where they're bending so your plates yes. are like completely just not even straight and then exactly. you have like pressure points on the plates then where you have points where you've got really good um, like cutting ability where other sides you don't I know that I have that on my die cut machine at home. I yes. know I know what side of the die cut machine or what edge she's going to cut the best. So yes. you have that too as well sometimes. Oh definitely. But this I've just the good thing is about a die like this is you can slot it back in. I can see that and it's gone directly over where it was. So if you've just found that this little bit has not cut out here, it's fine. Don't worry. Pop it back through. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it on the mat. I want to just add a little bit of tape in there so it does just hold so let's pop it that way because this is the side that didn't quite um cut because that, what i did was and you'll see i put the dies in the middle of the mat and it's always better to put your dies down the edge okay so let's pop this butterfly out our oh, butterfly is beautiful again this is a gorgeous butterfly very pretty there we go. It's so pretty. I'm going to pop those last two little um, bits out of there. So we've got our beautiful butterfly 
So this is going to be really simple. This is actually more like, rather than making a big detailed card, this is just giving you an idea of what the cuts are like and also how you can use the two um, sets of dies together, or three of them actually, because we've got the lovely words. And the words um, were very popular yesterday on Crate and Craft. I think they were kind of... Um, selling out fairly quickly Great. so there's just so many different occasions on there if you wanted to get really crazy you could do like a really fun card that was like happy birthday um say say to wasn't there um... say to home happy birthday say to home well wishes new baby yeah, you, you could write like your own sentiment. You could write. You, you could put happy. You get really I love crazy. You. Yeah, I love you. Happy birthday, or congratulations on your, you know, new home. home. That is on there, isn't it? Home. Yeah. So you could congratulations put that. on your new home. Get to get to celebrate soon. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Congratulations on your new home. Get to celebrate soon. You've got a sentiment there yeah. made out of your dies. I thought you were going to say, um, congratulations on your, your new home or, you know, get to bed. Get to bed. <laughs> it's been a long day moving in. <laughs> bed isn't on here. But bed isn't on there, is it? So we no. can't do that. Get to bed now. It's been a long day. But there's not enough of those words on there to, to make that up. So, um Unfortunately, you can't do that. But you can make, I noticed there was like, love you, miss you. Yeah. Um, there was all kinds of things that you could actually um, make up on there. Okay, so we've got our butterfly. So basically, we're just making... This looks so lovely and white. A really basic white card. Again, this is something that you can do for um, sympathy. Look how detailed that the, the dye makes I know, it's it a shame to actually cover it, it up, isn't it? It looks so pretty. It's a shame to cover it up. I'm going to cut one more butterfly. Um, Danny's probably out there thinking, oh, what why, are they doing? Why are they taking so long? It's always the same when I'm demoing because <laughs> I'm too busy chatting instead of, you know, it, it triggers things off in my head, which I can only tell you when I'm here in this room because that's the only contact I have with you as a cost customer, especially at the moment with um, not doing demos in shops and things. So if I have ideas, I have to tell you um, why. I'm here, why well, I'm in here. Lots of people are commenting to say that they are struggling to get hold of the most recent box magazine. You can buy that box magazine from us directly. So if you if you have an order that is um, waiting to go out to you or um, you're waiting for something, if you ring up uh, customer services, they'll be able to get that box mag put into your order, hopefully. Uh -huh. so, um, so yeah, if you can't find it and you're struggling to get it, you can always order it from us. And I'm, I'm 100 percent sure that we definitely have stock of it because there's a massive pallet in the in the warehouse that I found the other day. Yeah, I was searching for it. Comes to us, doesn't it? Anyway, from the yeah, from so what, when it's printed. Yeah, so you can always buy so. that from us. Um, I know it's easier just to go to your local supermarket, but if you are struggling, don't worry, you can get that from us here um, for sure. I'm sure you can. Oh, yeah. Liz says it's sold out online. Oh, really? Yeah. Ah, well, that would explain why they can't get it then. Yeah. Maybe we need. Yeah. We need yeah. to. Uh, is that? No, I, I swear we've, we've, we've got definitely got some in the warehouse. Yeah, I think stock will just need yeah. yeah. I will we'll speak to um, Samantha and get her to sort that out. Or yeah. if Han's watching. Oh, no, Han's on holiday, isn't she? Yeah. Han's on holiday. I'll speak to Sam. We'll get that sorted out. We'll definitely get it back up for you. Because there's a very big box full of them. Yeah. If that's all gone, I'll box. be amazed. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, is why that's, that's the thing. Bought it everyone bought it. When who is this Emily woman? We, we need to see you. who she is. I know we told you on Friday. Stacey told you. I bet Stacey. That's what it is. Yeah, It'll be Stacey. 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 She'll have bought them all, and she'll have a big wall right. filled filled with Emily's face. She will. She will. Okay. Last little con to just stick down here, and then we are going to put. If we've got some, I'm just going to see if we've got some white gems in here. Um, and we're going to pop a few white. It looks white. so lovely in the white. Actually, the box mag is sold out. <gasps> no, no, no. no. Uh, we're getting more stock on Friday. Okay. So it'll be very limited. Oh, gosh. This is crazy. Wow. It definitely has to be down to Emily being in it then. It must be, yeah. That is the only reason. That is the only reason I can think of. 
I can, I but can't if you imagine. Are super eager, then get looking on Friday because we have more stock coming. So that'll be uploaded and then you can quickly sneak yours in. Definitely. Let me grab a little pearl from here now and then we are nearly done. I'm keeping this quite simple because I don't want to kind of cover up all the lovely detail that's in this um, die. It would be a shame. It's very, very lovely. To though. just not show all this lovely lacy detail. Um, and I don't actually, I said this yesterday when I used it on Create and Craft, I don't necessarily um, want to always stick it flat because because if you leave it a little bit so it lifts, it's almost like, like lace would be. Yes. So let's just pop these butterfly wings up now, now that we've we've glued them in place. But just keeping it white like that, what a mess my desk is in here. <laughs> um, you can see, I need to hold that down because my glue's not quite grabbed. It's so detailed um, But you though, can see how die. delicate it is. And that's just using one, two, three, four of the dies. Um, where in total, I think we've got, have we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten maybe, and then the sentiments as well. Yeah. We've not even touched on those. No. So again, it's just something that you can do. Make yourself some white cards and then put them in your folder with your dies that you've just cut um, so that you can, you know, you can just open that and see what you've got in there and how they cut. They are very, very beautiful. All of the dies in this collection are wonderful. Um, we have um, some more shows with this fantastic collection coming up today. Um, you can catch Pauline at half past one um, for a two hour show um, with our decollage flourishing florals and then she'll be back at 4.30 as well um, with our back in stock of our wise and beautiful collection. So that's another beautiful um, moonstone dye collection if you want to watch that. Um, and then Friday, I will be there at 9 a.m. Um, with an, an amazing new concept, which I'm so excited about. I'm excited to just um, to just do it right now when I get <laughs> yeah. out of here. I could see it on your desk I'm this very, morning very and excited. I thought, she's been busy. I have been busy. Um, so nine, nine o'clock on Friday morning for that one. Um, our next Facebook show is nine o'clock. Um, Sheila and Dan are going to be here. Look. Ten o'clock. No, Friday the... Oh, I, it's because it says Friday the 9th. That's why. I was going to say, hold on. At 10 a.m., <laughs> Sheila and Dan will be here. Um, and they're going to announce the winners of that fantastic prize and have a look at some more um, offers that are going to be possibly added to our 80% um, products gi giveaway. Yeah. I know. It's very more exciting. Products. More, I think more I products. Look, I think more products that. are going to be added to that. Ooh. Up to 80% off. I hope there's some more pounds in there. Um, but thank you for choosing um, Air Honky Dory today. We've had a great um, hour and a half here of fun and we hope to see you on board soon. So from me, it's um, a lovely goodbye and have a fantastic rest of your day. Um, Sheila? Yes, thank you for watching again. Um, we hope you've enjoyed what we've done today and we've had a good flight. We're, we're, we're going to... Um, I was going to say on board then, but we're going to do we'll land uh, shortly. We're going to, yes, uh, we'll be at our destination, which is right through that door in the office. <laughs> yeah. Back to our desk. So we will. we'll see you um, on our next Facebook Live. We which will. It's Friday. Friday. So see you all Thank again you. on Friday. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.